What you doing? Oh, I'm attempting to do some sound deadening underneath here, but I don't know what in the world I'm doing, so I'm just kind of doing what I want to do, but it stinks bad. So hopefully it works. If not, it will. It looks like tar. It, it does smell like tar. So we're just putting this under the two front chairs, right? Yeah, so that's what we get some of the road noise out of here. So we got the sound deadening, the old passenger side over there. We got it on the driver's side. Russ man doing some under, underlayment in Lenny's bunk, some sound deadening stuff. Just make sure you keep it off the wall, bud. Okay. okay. Here you go. Here's your roller. Hit it up good, nice and smooth. That way Lenny can sleep sound. Already got way back in there. He's a he's a worker. Hey, how are you? This is what I did today. Well, I'm part of it. Before it had this ugly black screen little mesh thing that went over, and it was a bunch of wasted space. So I decided we were going to make a shelf in it, so that way we could put pictures. The boys put their Wii up here and store it. Um, so I just kind of found a piece of whiteboard that we had laying around the house from other shelving projects and framed it in and put this little wall in so that way we could put a little access door to still access wires, power, um, you can see the cable cord still comes down here um, but I cut a little hole right in here to be able to get any power in through there um, and then we're going to primer this, paint it all white, sand it down so that way it kind of matches everything else here and the TV will sit in there and we'll have a little shelf and actually get to utilize more space oh and then put a little door here so that way it can still pop off and be able to access stuff so, just to get to use dead space, make it more functional. Hey, so as you can see, you've got the floor prepped. i got this wonderful underlayment on there. It's not really thick stuff, um, but it does give a little bit of extra cushion. Um, and the first floor plank is prepped. Uh, I just need to modify it, just put a hole in there for the seat belts and uh, get working my way down the first slide and then come across and just kind of work my way up to the edge. Good, didn't he? Oh. So today I'm out in the barn. I'm gonna start sanding and painting the doors and the drawers that go inside the RV. Um, we got everything inside painted, so now it's time to work on the doors and the drawers I didn't want to do in there. Now 
So I started sanding today and I've been doing it for a few hours now and it's taking a lot of time because even with my electric sander, it's just not um, getting down to like get the, the stain off and I couldn't figure out why it was taking so long. Then I realized that the front of the cabinets, they just peel off. So if you ever decide to redo your cabinets in your motorhome, you might want to check and see if they peel off because here is what I'm talking about. They just come right off like that. See, it peels right off in these huge chunks. I wish I would have done this a couple hours ago. So if you see right here, you just kind of go like this on the outside. You can see that this whole thing will just peel right off when I pull it around to the front side. Makes it so much easier than sanding at all. the doors painted. Now it's time to hang them back up. Finished putting the, the flooring in and around the stairwell there to uh, to kind of give it the look of the rest of the floor inside the coach. Uh, pardon the mess. I'm slowly getting things back in. Uh, I've got the I guess magazine and cooler cup holders put in there. Uh, I've got trim boards placed around uh, all around the bottom. Uh, around here in the kitchen area as well. Um, got all the cabinet doors put back in here today. Uh, got the space cleared off so we can get the couch in for tomorrow. And the only thing that I really need to get done besides everything is to get the couch in, figure out the little bit of trim in Lenny's bunk area, and then I can start in on doing the wainscoat in the bathroom and get the upper fascia boards up. Uh, Angie got all those painted so I can get those placed in and uh, we're gonna get, oh we got doors installed too. Just a little touch ups here and there but um, we're getting that much closer to being lube in ready. Complication. 